Tom from the Diamond Enchanted Boat, and today we are going to talk about Hero Awakening. Yes, does this not sound familiar? Hmm, did the devs copy out this off of Star Wars The Force Awakens? Hmm, well this isn't the first time that the developers have copied ideas from other games or even movies. Well, let's go back in time. You might remember this several years ago. The name of the game was Age of Empire. Hmm. Copy off of our, my, one of my favorite PC games, Age of Empires. This is actually what brought me to this game. I love Age of Empires, and so I searched for it on Google Play, and I found this game. Not very similar. It's similar in some aspects, but in the end, it's not at all. And then I was addicted, and, well, the rest is here history. Several years later. And, well, let's also talk about other things copied. Well, look at uh, this hero. Uh, we have Thor. Hmm. Now let's go to what Thor actually looks like from the movies. Looks pretty similar, doesn't it? And then we have Iron Mask. Boom. Hmm. Looks like Iron Man. Boom. Hmm. And can you imagine the absurdity of a modern technological marvel as Iron Man leading these guys into battle? Come on now. I don't know. Anyways, let's get off of my tent, or my little tent there, and let's talk about Hero Awakening. In this video, we are going to talk about what heroes can be awakened, what heroes are going to be potentially be seven star heroes, and how or what you need to do this process, and how to do this process um, from what we understand at this point in time. Take it in mind that the event just started yesterday, actually started last night at like 11.45 um, Central Time here in the United States, in which it actually was up for probably five minutes before they took it down. Anyhow, let's get to the tutorial. Okay guys, let's start with the list of the seven star heroes. These are heroes that will get 7 star and their names as a 7 star hero. First we have Dream Candy Girl, Amy. King of Oceans, Poseidon. The Almighty Zeus. King of Hell, Hades. Epic, William Wallace. Bold Warrior, Sun Wukong. Love and Harvest, Hathor. Beloved King, Gilgamesh. Victory Granter, Rain Hildur. Hildur Goddess of Luck, Goddess of Fate, Goddess of Revenge, Creamhild, The Unmatched Thor, Primordial Evil, Loki, Supreme Knight, Gawain, Lord of Eternity, Arthur, Lion of Britain, Lancelot, Light of Victory, Achilles. Now there may be a few more heroes that pop up that are missed on this list. Um, this information is courtesy of RGM. Thanks. Now to the tutorial. So let's start this uh, tutorial on Hero Awakening. Um, I apologize. It has been a few days since um, my original, since my intro, um, because I had some computer difficulties. But let's dwell, let's dive into this tutorial and show you what we know about Hero Awakening at this time. Okay, mind you, this is server A43. There are some differences between the servers, but I will 
talk you through it. Okay, first thing you guys need to know is go to the hero tab, click on your hero, click on rebirth, click on awake. Okay, first thing, let's go right here to the I tab. These are the heroes that are currently able to awaken. First we got Achilles, then we got King's Hand Lancelot, and then we have Chivalrous Knight Gawain. And Dragon Slayer Arthur. Okay. What I need to show you is that there are three levels of Hero Awakening. First level, you get a little copper around the corners, and it gives you an extra. 15% attack. The second level gives you, shows a silver lining around it. it says diamond body defense plus 30%. The third level gives you this gold around the edges and that changes your name to Light of Victory Achilles and that gives you all three uh, attack 15%, defense plus 30%, and device, divine force damage plus 25% in the first round. Okay. Now, in order to get these, to achieve these goals, it's going to take a long time, according to the devs. Let's go look at this. Her yeah, more and more heroes become available. Well, a lot of my friends on my server are considering on waiting on when Poseidon or um, the monkey hero, um, Hero Wu, whatever his name is, comes up because they have silencing skills. Now, Achilles does not have a silencing skill. Achilles is just pretty cool, but does not have a silencing skill. This is my current demigod, Achilles. Now, let's delve into the skills needed to get your hero to awaken. Okay. First off, I've already done the few, first few steps on Achilles, so I'm going to go to Lancelot just to show you that in this server, you will need a hero growth of 42. On the new servers, you need a hero growth of 122. Um, complete Magic Tower, the Endless Forest, level 10, five times with this hero. Okay. Sacrifice Evolution Stones. Now notice this right here. Evolution Stones 49. Just notice that. Sacrifice Imperfect imper Hilt items 99. Okay. You get those Imperfect Hilts from another event that I'm just about to show you. Now, let's go to Achilles. His you know what we need to do him so we've done the first two trials um, here we need to sacrifice 59 evolution stones instead of 49 on the other guy still need to sacrifice 99 imperfect hilts okay so now I'm going to show you where you can get the items um that to get the to do this it's called courage trials and it is now a permanent event on the aoe so 
Mind you, I have a 50% attack buff going on. So, just keep that in mind when, I, when you watch me attack these guys. So right now we're going to attack current stage King of God, Zeus. Challenge. We don't want auto replenish on. We want to sign our soldiers. We're going to sign Demi. No, we don't want that. We're going to sign three Easter buddies because each one gives us a 15% attack buff. Where's my other one? There it is. Boom, right there. So let's all these attack buffs will increase our main heroes all together by 45 percent 15 times three all right here we go no nope, i already decided soldiers bah fight here we go so what we get is random Notice we get this little bonus of forging stones. What we get right here is random. We might get some evolution stones. We might get that. We might get the hilt items. This process is going to take a long time, even if you spend gold. So here we go. We're going to challenge the chaos dragon. Sign soldiers. Boom. Boom, boom, and boom. All right. Taking on the Chaos Dragon. Here we go. Boom. Whoa, we took some hits on that one. Oh, wow. We actually got defeated on that one. Wow. That guy's strong. Well... Maybe we'll get lucky this time. Damn. I took out a lot of troops. A lot of troops. Anyways. Um, it is going to give you 80% of your troops back on this event. It will give you a challenge. That's for sure. They won't, don't want to make it easy for us. They certainly don't want to make it easy at all. So let's get our Easter buddies going on. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do it this time. Sometimes you have different chances other than the others. Let's try it. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh, we made it. Yes, victory. We got one evolution stone and one forging stone. Okay. So, let's go back to inventory. Let's look at these items that we just got. Okay. So, we got Dragon Blood, which really, at this time, I'm not sure what that, what is used for in the Awakening. We have Phoenix Feathers. I'm not sure what that awakens either. We have 13 Imperfect Hilts. So, in a matter of time, it's going to take time because we need 99 imperfect hilts and 59 um, evolution stones in order to evolve our hero, or awaken our hero, excuse me, to the first stage. Now, with regards to the second stage... Not sure. I'm sure it's going to be a lot more difficult. We will cover that in future videos. 
once I pass the first stage. I thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe for future videos. Keep in mind I also do other gameplay videos as in Minecraft, Mario, anything Super Mario Brothers, um, and other video games. I try to just, just, I diversify my portfolio. Anyhow, you guys have a good night. Good. Bye.